We begin with new details in a deadly St. Louis Park crash. The crash happened at Park Tavern's outdoor patio, killing two people and injuring three others. Our Mariel Mose joins us live from the bar where this happened. Mariel, you've had a chance to speak with the bar owner. What are you learning? Well, Shayla, this entire restaurant community and greater St. Louis Park community is grieving immensely over this tragedy last night. Because if you live anywhere near Park Tavern, you're not only a customer, you've been a longtime customer of this 40 plus year legacy restaurant. Take a look at this growing behind growing memorial behind me here where so many people who either knew the victims or just were support, supporters of this restaurant, loyal customers coming by to add flowers, put up put up old old uh, vintage park tavern shirts, but in sp specifically I want you to focus on the scrubs because this is helping us learn more about the victims of this tragedy. We know that a Methodist Park Nicollet Hospital employee was involved in this horrific crash last night and nurses and staff members of Methodist have been coming by all day leaving flowers and uh, the scrubs there representing that person and we have had people coming by all morning who knew who just wanted to mourn and pay their respects to everyone in this tragedy we're learning more about the two people killed one of them was a server at Park Tavern she was a mother of three and she was a generational employee as her mom also worked at Park Tavern and that's really the core of this business it's it's family a a lot of employees are generational workers, making this incident even more heartbreaking for the staff who survived. I spoke with the owner just in the last 30 minutes who is shaken over the trauma that this leaves behind his business and his workers of 40 plus years. Here in Long Beach, we've had quite a few people pass away. So in not this manner, this is just horrific. I mean, nobody can even believe this is what happened. We're also learning more about the driver behind the wheel. He's facing a criminal vehicular homicide charge, but has not been formally charged yet, so we're not naming him. However, we do know he's a 56-year-old man with a record of bad driving, two DUI arrests, both in 2013 and 2014. Park Tavern is closed for the foreseeable future, understandably, while the staff processes everything that's unfolded and picks up the pieces. But the owner assured me that that's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to get themselves back together and open their doors eventually so that they can bring back all their loyal customers and get back on their feet. Shayla. A community coming together and finding a way. Our Mary Almost reporting. Thank you so much. One person is dead.